In this video, we're going to focus on adding a shape to the scene in 3JS. And this is part of the 3JS tutorial. So right now we have this here. We have this nice shape here. So basically, we have understood now what is a scene and how it eventually reflects on everything. Basically, how we see the object as we have here the perspective, the perspective camera, the view or the angle view, which you want to emulate as much as possible to the eye of human. We figured out already this, which is the frustrum. And uh, if you don't understand this much, I would say put it in the comment section below. I will probably make another video for that then. And the frustrum will eventually, there's some more advanced part regarding to this. But however, uh, how you can see this basically like this. If you are completely in a tunnel, for example, in a room, you only see the front of the room. You will not see the back of the room. And that's basically the frustrum. Basically, where are you? How are you viewing it as a point of view of where you're positioned? So this is basically, that's the, probably the best way to explain it. So if I do this here again, so let me one more do that. Put on five, refresh. Now, you can see we're only seeing a very tiny part of, basically, it assumes that we are so inside of the room Imagine this is a room, the cube would be the room. We are inside the cube and we're not able to see the back of the cube, but we only see the front of the cube, which is green. The back is black. And basically what we're seeing here, the black part as well, is also the inside. The inside in 3JS, we did not specify any color. So that's why you only see the part of the outer layer that is at front of you, in front of you. All right, so I hope that would make a bit more sense. And if not, put it in the comment section below. So now what I want to do is I want to focus here on the cube because uh, then this is a more advanced topic. So let's look here. Geometry. All right. In here, we're going to work basically with mesh. And mesh basically means two things. A shape and the material that we're going to use. So if you were to look here in Google, you would search for mesh and in the computing language, a rep representation of a given shape or form consisting of an arrangement of a finite set of geometric components, all right? And finite means, the, well, let's say the opposite of finite is infinite, meaning unlimited possibilities. So finite is limited possibilities or limited sets of components. So it's defined amount of sets that we have depending on of course what is in 3JS. However here we're going to use the box and the default version of this here is a, a cube or a square well it's basically a cube but the cube is set here on this and this is basically the one comma one comma uh, one basically one comma one one. Alright if I save this you will see here this is just the default shape of the cube. Whatever this one means it's not really clearly defined. Basically, all we know is that this is related to the, remember if you think about a chart or a scale, you have the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. And basically X axis, so it's X, Y, and Z, and the X is from left to right, left to right, which is the width, basically the width, that should be the right term. This one is the height, and this defines the depth of the object. So it explains if you only focus on X and Y, you will have a flat square or you know, well, basically a flat square. So if I put it on zero and I put this on one and I put this one on one, save that, refresh. Now, as we rotate, you can see it's very flat because it doesn't specify. We can increase this. If we make this by two, what happens, it will be the two is equal to the size of this. So basically it's a cube, cube, cubical pixel. Maybe that's the right term. I'm not sure if that's the right term, but you can see it. If it's two, it's two cubical pixel. Maybe, maybe that's the right term. I have not, no idea. However, you can understand that the shape is times two. It's the ratio of two compared to whatever we have here. So we want a bigger cube. We can make this two, two, two and refresh. All right. As you can see, now it's twice the size, basically. All right. So, or twice, well, basically it's four times the size of one, one, one. That's it. So it's, it's like a cubical shape, how it works. So next here is the material. The material defines the material what we want. In this case here, it's green. So this is color, and this color is similar to RGB. 
Or the only thing is that it uses this specific form of coloring and this coloring is really built in 3JS to be very specific. However, if you could do the same here with green, let's make this here. A string, save that, and refresh. You can see now it's dark green. So it's not that bright green. Of course, we can do that as well if you want to have, have that one in nice bright green. It's just 00, zero FF, or Foxtrot, Foxtrot, in, alphabetic, no, in the uh, phonetic alphabet, and 00. zero. Save this, refresh. Now we're back in the original green. You can change this, of course, in colors. Very straightforward. This is just uh, very close to RGB color. So it should be a very common thing, especially if you know HTML and CSS. All right, so we have this here. So what happened here basically is this was the geometric shape, or basically the shape, remember mesh consists of two items, the geometry, which is the shape, and the material, which would be the fabric or things later on, we can do something else, we can give it a, a brick layer design, uh, uh, or any other design that we want to put it in, but basically we can go in here. So this is the most important one. And once we have this, what we'll do here is add it to the scene. So basically we want to add this. So if you want to add a new one, all we have to do here, let's add something. Of course, here I'm going to make this smaller and I'm going to make this smaller as well, but I will do some adjustments here. So let's give this a different color. Uh, let's say here red. And then here we have the material red, but I need to give this a different constant because these two constants cannot be identical remember that you get a constant error so in here and then we will add it scene to the cube and this cube of course will be number two remember the mesh is the combination of these two here put it in here so we have mesh will be geometry or whatever the constant is here copy paste and the material here paste this put it in here save refresh now what happens is we have now a red cube but the red cube that we indicated here is not rotating because we didn't put a rotation on here. I will talk about it later on. However, we have the zooming of the camera position and the zooming is basically related to the Z index here or the Z value, which is also here. So by default, it's set on zero. But what happens if you do on zero? If you put on zero, you're basically in the object itself. So let's say this, we put on zero. And what happens if we don't see anything? And the reason we don't see anything is we zoom in, we go in there. That's the default point. It's like you're in the room right now. However, in Chart.js, or sorry, not Chart.js, in, in uh, 3.js, I make many videos about Chart.js, so my apologies. So in 3.js, you have this zooming option, but it will start, the starting point is the default is zero. So to zoom out, we need to create more depth. So we have here depth of one, we must have more than one at least. If you do one here, let's see what happens. You will see here, you're just in front of it. As you can see here is basically the, almost a the frustrum related part. You're just in front of it. But of course you can't see anything here because it doesn't make any sense. Let's put this back to five. So once we do this, then we start to get a better view here. So this is the most important part here. Next video, we can make some other shapes as well. So then we're going to introduce some different shapes before we even continue on with the animation.